Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm on here. I'm actually just going to invite a few people. So if you're coming in, come on in. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I am going live from from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, my target audience this morning really is in Virginia and on the East Coast. Um, so it is about 8.30 here in Virginia, in, in Phoenix, and it's probably about 10.30 there in on the East Coast. Um, so good morning. I'm sure you're up and about by now. Definitely wanted to just come in this morning and talk to you about what we're going to be doing on March 11th. So good morning. I'm just taking a few minutes to invite um, a few people I know on the East Coast. Good morning. Invite your friends, invite your family. Um, let Tell them to get on because we're going to be in Faith Solutions to Mental Health is teaming up and partnering with Create It to Win. And we're going to be doing that in two weeks. Two weeks from today, we're going to be in Virginia for this great event. It's going to be a four-hour event. It's going to be um, intense, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that. But get on here. If you're curious as far as what we're going to be doing, then this is the video that's going to help you out. And I know um, Elder Lakeisha Bannister is also going to be doing her own um, promotional video about this and letting you know what's going to be going on. Um, so this is my part. This is a two-part two part intensive training. And so um, two different parts, two different sets of information. Um, and so we just want to let you know what we're going to be doing. And we want you to invite you to come. So I'm just taking a few minutes to invite some of the friends I know. And um, I'm getting over a cold, so my voice is <clears throat> not up to par. I'm not going to be long because I don't want to go completely out, um, run out of my voice, but I am getting over a cold, um, and thank God for just healing me. I'm running a little late. I actually think I needed the rest last night, so I'm glad to have gotten the rest that I needed. So I'm just inviting a few people. Hopefully they will come on and also invite your friends and invite your followers. It is 1030 um, there on the East Coast. So I just want to say good morning. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I want to talk to you a little bit about what Faith Solutions to Mental Health is going to be doing in the in the Marketplace Mindset event that's going to be happening in Exmoor, Virginia. Exmoor, Virginia on the eastern shore of Virginia. So come on in. Invite your friends and followers. Let me know if you can... Um, let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me clearly. And we're going to go forward with this. So, all right. So, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, DeAndrea. Good morning, Sister Lisa. Good morning, Ernie. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Ernie. Good morning to all of you. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to talk to you about my marketplace mindset. I feel the preacher coming out in me already. So, I know this is going to be a great event, although this is not necessarily a church event. Um, it would behoove every leader. It would, it would really in, in, um, it would benefit every, every believer if you can be here to this event. Um, it's going to be a very intensive training, and it's going to be much needed information. So even if you come on later on and watch this video, then please share this with your local leaders, with your local um, friends, and also for professionals that are in the marketplace. Professionals, we and you, if you are a professional and you are a believer, then please try to be at this event because it's going to help you. It's going to, excuse me, I'm going to get my water. It's going to absolutely help you. To deal with your clients is going to help you to deal with your with your family and friends. It's, it's just going to help you overall. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. 
Um, so on March 11th of 2017, so that's two weeks from today, we're going to be going to, we're going to be in Exmoor, Virginia, and we are going to be, we are going to be introducing to you the mind, Marketplace Mindset um, Training. So this is going to be a four-hour training. It's going to start at 9 a.m. and it's going to end at 1 p.m. And so it is the reg there is a registration fee at this time. It is $79. Um, this is for what this training is worth. This is a very discounted price. I know people may not think that, but we also expect you to invest in yourself, invest in your ministry, okay, because this is really going to help you. This is going to be power-packed. <clears throat> We are also going to be including with that a, an electronic workbook. We are going to be including with that a certificate of completion for you to take back to your licensing board if applicable. We are also going to be including with that a 30-day um, membership into our consultation group. So for 30 days, you'll be able to ask us questions. We're going to be posting additional information. Um, so that during that time, we're hoping that you're going to go back and implement the information that you've been given. So... We want to do that. We don't want to just give you the information and then leave you because we know you're going to have follow up questions. And as Lord leads you to minister, um, as Lord leads you to implement these into your workplace, then you're going to have access to us. OK, um, so I want to begin to talk about why we need training on integration of mental health and faith. Um, this past weekend, I had the honor and the privilege of ministering at the Arise and Pray Conference, which was here in Glendale, Arizona. And the funny thing is, as as I was ministering, the Lord was really downloading to me as at the same time I was ministering. And he ministered to me from Mark 5. And so in Mark 5, there was a man who met the disciples when they got off the boat. And this man had been in the tombs and he had been scratching himself in the tombs and he had been responding to hallucinations in the tomb. He was tormented in the tomb in the tomb by demonic oppression. Okay, so that's in Mark 5. And so as the disciples, as Jesus and the disciples begin to minister to this man and begin to pray for this man, um, the demons, the demons that were in this man spoke out and they said, he said, what is your name? Jesus said, what is your name? And those spirits spoke out and they said, I am legion for we are many. And what the Lord ministered to me was that mental illness is not just one spirit that manifests in one way. Mental illness is many unclean spirits that manifest in many ways in that person's life. Okay, so there has been a misconception that mental illness is just one thing that we need to pray against. And that's it. And so that's why because and because mental illness is that spirit is so manipulative, that spirit is so um, intimidating to many people. We have left it alone and we have not addressed it. So as the Lord was downloading to me, he just clarified to me the importance of why we have to go in and we have to confront the spirit of mental, the unclean spirit of mental illness, because mental illness is not just one unclean spirit. It is many unclean spirits and it has the ability to affect you. It has the ability to impact your affect your family, your community in a very dangerous way. It has the ability to impact your church family, your community, your congregation in a, in, a, in a big way if you don't go in and address it. Okay, so mental illness is not just one spirit. Mental illness is a gateway to generational curses. Mental illness is a gateway to, to poverty, to sickness and disease, especially kidney and liver disease. It is a gateway to addiction, drug addiction, and, and alcoholism. Mental illness is a gateway to social welfare. It is a gateway to so many things. And so that is the reason why we have to go in and we have to address this. We have to confront it by the power of God and by what the power that he has given us because he has empowered us to do this. We are not to be afraid of it. We are not to be intimidated by it. We are to remember that that person that we are trying to help has a spirit, has a mind, has a body. They have a soul. And so God wants their soul. God wants them to be saved. And so we are to go in with love and we are to go in with compassion for them. But we are to remember that the underlying issue many times is an unclean spirit that has got in. And not always should we look at the person and, and think that they They've opened the door in some way. Sometimes that door was opened generations back by ancestral spirits. Um, 
Sometimes that doorway was opened by the person themselves for sure. But sometimes it was open through trauma. Sometimes it was open through abuse. And because we were not able to go in and help that person deal with and cope with the issues that they have been confronted with, then the enemy was able to distort the, the situation, distort the thoughts of that person, um, and, and, and open the door and plant a seed in that person. And here we are, here we have an unclean spirit of mental illness. And so it is our job as the body of Christ to go in and deal with this. Um, and so I know I'm on the right track because of the, just because of, of, of the feedback from the people, but also from the warfare that I've, I've been getting, um, last night, uh, uh, last night a person decided to post a, a curse on my page. And that was very bold of the enemy. That was very bold of the devil to try to post something of that nature on my page. Here I am a believer. And so that just tells me that we have to be bold in this. The enemy, the enemy is, is watching us. The enemy is, is following us on Facebook. The enemy wants to see what we're doing because they don't, the enemy doesn't want us to do this. Those of us who have taken a, taken a stand and we are going after this, please believe you are a danger to the kingdom of Satan. You are a danger to the kingdom of darkness and you are to go keep going with what God has told you to do. Okay, so I want to want to just point that out that there is a need for those of us who are in the body of Christ to get this type of training, understand what you're dealing with from both a spiritual perspective and a natural perspective. We had not we can no longer allow people to come into our ministries who are suffering and we don't take the 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 precautions, we don't take the the steps to help them, to help them be set free, help them be delivered. We it's time that we it is absolutely time that we go ahead and do this. God has given us power over all the power of the enemy. So we are not to be intimidated. We are to go in with love as God, as Christ did, as Christ did. And that's why the man at the tomb was delivered. He was set free and he, even he be, began to minister. And so that's what we want people to do. We want people to be set free. Mental illness manifests in many ways. And, and, and so many of those diagnoses, we are able to see that they are suffering. We are able to see that this is not fun. This is not a good experience for them. They are not having fun with this. They are tormented. They are suffering. You wouldn't want your loved one to suffer. You wouldn't want your child to suffer. And so why would we want our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ to continue suffering and having to hide it? Um, having to hide, especially in the church, people cannot, there is a real stigma of admitting that they have a mental illness in the church. No one wants to do that. No one will do it. They won't do it. And so my, the, the point of Faith Solutions to Mental Health is not only to train and equip, but to also provide a safe place for, for people to call, to pe for people to get the help that they need um, with no judgment, with the utmost level of confidentiality. No one ever has to know that you're calling and seeking out help. No one has to know that. But there has to be a safe place for people, especially in the body of Christ, to be able to, to get help to get help from a believer, from someone who is um, who is equipped and trained in both a natural perspective and in terms of education, but also equipped with the with the spirit of God. And so I'm grateful for what God is doing in this season, in this season. And so Faith Solutions to Mental Health is coming to Virginia on March 11th, we are also oh excited. We have just transitioned from an LLC to a nonprofit organization. So we, you can look for us to be doing more and more in the community. Not um, uh, trainings are great and conferences are great, and we live in a a conference type of era where every week there is a conference going on. But the Lord has ministered to me that we are to go beyond the conferences. We are to go beyond the four walls and we need to actually go out in the community. And so one of the things that Faith Solutions to Mental Health wants to do is everywhere we go, we're going to be going to a lot of different cities this year. But one of the things that the Lord has really imparted to me is that not only go and provide this conference to the professionals and to the people that are that we consider to be of sound mind and body. But the Lord has ministered to me that we ought to be going out into the hedges and highways. So in every city that we go in, it is my desire that we identify that we identify um, whether it is a community agency, whether it is a homeless shelter, whatever it is, where we can go and and have one on one contact with those who are suffering, um, and we can have that one on one contact to provide them the help they need, at least to plant the seed. Although we may not be able to follow. 
through with everything that they need. We can at least plant the seed um, through that education, through just that one-on-one -on -one contact with them. And so um, it is my desire, if you want us to come to your city, then reach out to us. We are That is what we're doing this year. We are accepting donations and we are praying that God will bless us to get those donations so that we can go out and do the work. Mental illness is not, does not manifest in just one way. Mental illness manifests in many ways. Mental illness is a gateway to, to so many things as we mentioned earlier. And so that's what Faith Solutions to Mental Health we're coming to do. We're going to provide this training. So again, if you are a leader, if you are a professional, if you are a lay, uh, a lay person, although I don't believe there are lay people in the body of Christ, but if you are a person who just wants the information, if you are a caregiver, if you are a caregiver, to someone who is suffering with mental illness, then please get here and get this training. We want to help you to be able to care for that person, not only from a natural perspective, but help them identify what is going on in the spirit. When, when, when a person has a mental illness, what is happening in their spirit? We cannot address mental health without addressing spiritual health. And so, um, so that's what we want to do. We want to help professionals to be able to deal with um, to be able to help the people that they, they interact with on their jobs. There is no, there is no industry. There is not one industry that you do not interact with people who are suffering mentally, whether that is in the music industry, whether that is in, in the education industry, the medical industry, um, the, the, the legal industry. There is no industry that you do not come in contact with people who are suffering from some type of mental ailment, whether or not they're diagnosed with a mental illness, um, there still may be a mental health issue. There may be something that they've gone through that if we do not, if we do not go in and intercede for that person, the enemy has the ability to distort what is going on and it will manifest later as a mental illness. And so we want you to know what you're dealing with. We want to give you the tools to deal with it. And we know policy and procedure. We're praying that that is going to be changing, but we know policy and procedure um, in many industries says that we cannot go in and talk about Jesus. And so, but we can still hear from the Holy Spirit and God can give us what to say to that person. And we can also give them the tools, help them understand what's going on with them. So March 11th, I know Elder Lakeisha Bannister is going to be getting on and talking about her part in it and what Created to Win is going to be doing. Um, she is the author of Overcome the Obstacles, Pursue the Dream. That is a dynamic book about even you as the believer getting your mind in order, getting your heart in order, getting your ambitions up and getting ready to pursue what God has told you to do with power and authority and, and overcoming those obstacles. Um, God has not given us any obstacle that we're not able to overcome. He has given us power and authority. And so we hope to see you there wherever you're coming from. If you have, need more information, please reach out to us. Please reach out to me. Um, normally I will go further, but as you can see, my voice is, is leaving me even now. And I'm expecting to hopefully get some rest, to, some more rest today and, and my voice will be back. Um, so reach out to me. I love you. You can go to my page. You can go to Elder Lakeisha Bannister's page and, um, we can definitely, for sure, give you information about what we're going to be doing. Um, we definitely encourage leaders in the area. That is Eastern Shore, Virginia. That is my hometown. I was born and raised there. And so it is a privilege and an honor to be able to minister in my hometown in this way. Um, it is such an honor and a privilege. So please spread the word, especially if you are in Virginia. Spread the word. Let people know that we're going to be there. And we look forward to seeing you. We love you and God bless you.